Ah, uh, welcome back to Shogun Total War. It's uh, Fall of the Samurai. Uh, I've got all my orders are up to date. My toothache seems to be controlled by the analgesia. So, all's looking well at the moment, isn't it? So, anyway, um, let's back, get back to the game. So, uh, Ishin Shishi, over here, um, is going to go into here. Because I think I'm going to need him in there. Because I want these troops out of here, that's the main thing. Um, I'm going to take... Oh my trick car, oh, this microphone is extremely responsive again. I don't know why. Um I'm gonna take all my men out of here who can reach over to here. Wherever it is. There. Okay, because he hasn't got any men in there. He's only got these troops, got nothing else. He can't recruit anymore, so he's only got those. So now his choice is whether he wants to come over and defend, or attack me, or do whatever he thinks is the fitting thing to do. Um, I think... Might have a look over there. Yep. Whew. Thank goodness for that. I was just thinking... <laughs> I was thinking, hmm, he hasn't got anything over there. I thought I'd better just do a double check, and I? It would have been too late now anyway, wouldn't it? But anyway, there you go. Um, you'll find out something I've changed in a minute. I think that's all I need to do there, though. Yeah, I think so. No money to spend anyway, so. Yeah, you're going to notice now on this turn end that I'm showing the CP moves. And the reason why I'm doing that is because that units that moved across territories up at the top there um, surprised me. I was sort of planning for an attack up there in the north, you know, building an army together, uh, but feeling fairly safe. Um, and then suddenly an army appeared out of what seemed like nowhere, so... Um, ah, why isn't it showing me the CPU moves? Something isn't right. Uh, increases in rank. Yeah, thank you very much. Mounting unrest. Yeah, I think I knew about that one. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. And they're just raids. Why didn't it show me those moves? Come on, I want to see those moves. Where are you? Options. Game settings. Uh, where is it? It's there, isn't it? So does that mean the CPU didn't move at all this turn? I don't, I'm totally confused about that. Um, what am I doing now? Uh, resume game. Right, okay. Um, yeah, that was a bit odd. Um, okay, Ishin Shishi increases in rank. Which one is he? He's... Why isn't it going to him either? Let's zoom to location. Oh, is he? A <laughs> He's the one that's in the middle of here. Oh, crikey. I was thinking he was one of those others that's wandering around doing things. I don't know. What's this? Baseball bat. Zeal when it's uh, converting provinces. Uh, repression in provinces where this man is present. Yeah, we'll have that one. And over here, I want probably these. What's this? Zeal when converting provinces. Happiness in province where this man is present. Yep, we want that one. And over here, cost of successful... Right, zeal when persuading troops. Not quite so important. What's this one? Zeal when assassinating, when instilling fervour. Now, I want to go down this route. Uh, I don't seem to have got this far with any of my agents yet, do I? So, Right, OK. Um, now, I've got a whole list of things that I plan to do. Now, first of all, where we are? Over here. Um... Uh, I'm going to take this, because there's nobody in... Look! Look at that! He's just completely given the place away. And yet the army wasn't distracted. I don't quite understand that. I did check at the beginning of the video, by the way. He's only got one territory. So, well, I'm just going to walk in and take this place then. Uh, that's odd, isn't it? I don't need all these troops to take that. Um, shall we some troops back? Um, do, 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 do. I don't need all those, do I? Surely. But I don't think I need any down here, actually, to be honest. Not unless he's going to be silly over there. Let's find out what happens. Yeah, move them all across, I suppose. Right. Um, 
maybe that was daft actually, I should have moved some down south to settle the population down there, or I should have at least checked if they needed it or not. I'm just going to auto-resolve that, because I mean that's just, a, you know, fighting against those two there, very boring. Um, lost none, well, that makes sense. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure how I'd have got over there without losing any at all, you know, but mm, anyway, it's a good result for me. So, come on, general increases in rank. Where are you, general? Ah, we'll repair that anyway. Ah, uh, what don't I need? Cannon range? I'm not going to need a cannon range, am I? Let's get rid of that. Now, I'm going to build a police station. Um, or whatever they call it. Uh, right, okay, general increase in rank. Okay, what are we going to get? Uh, enables the enables all fleets to engage in night battles. Plus one to command during ambushes. Plus 10% to income from looting. Nope. Uh, logistics plus five percent to the replenishment rate of all units under the command. That sounds good. Ten percent to campaign map movement rate. Even better. Yeah, we'll definitely have that one. And it looks like for the other one it's going to be this. Plus one to command when defending on land or sea. Armour of the man's bodyguard. Yeah, and we'll have that one as well. Why not? It'll just protect him a bit more, but I didn't need the other one. Whatever it was, I've even forgotten what it was now. Okay, province captured. Um, clan destroyed. I said they only had one, didn't I? So, general increases in rank. That's what I've just done now, I think. Um, trade raiding report. I'll find those in a minute anyway. Mounting unrest. Now, I bet you those are in the places that I expect anyway. And then construction complete. Ah, I wonder if that's my port. Might be. It is. It's that... Yeah, in Hizen. It's that port in Hizen. Right, brilliant. Um, mounting Unrest is in Eiger and in Arbor. Right. Eiger and in Arbor. Now, I think I expected that. There's Eiger. So let's put these in here. And see... It. Hey? Right. See if it settles the population. No. What would you have me do? For the Emperor! Uh, come on. Yes! Green! Excellent! Uh, no, can't cruise. Hey, look at that! Hire foreign veteran. Um, now... Masters of Warfare, having fought, okay. Increase the number of foreign veterans, you can recruit in one time. Uh, construct trade port. Oh, it's the trade ports that do it. That's because I've got a trade port in that area, isn't it? So, let's have a quick look, see what he does. I think he just improves the fighting ability, I'm not too sure. Um, right, okay. Oh, this is like the one I've already got, isn't it, really? So... I don't think he does anything else. Reduce their morale, causing attrition, foreign quarters, supervised recruitment. That's the main thing that he does, isn't it? How expensive is he going to be? Um, so if he's not too expensive, I'm going to get him. Right, he's 500, so I'm going to think about that one um, and see how much money I've got spare for other things. Um, right, uh, I had another place that was unhappy. Mounting unrest. Where was that one? That's Iger, we know about. And this one is Inaba. Let's go and have a look at Inaba. Ah, uh, oh right, okay, that's all these northern ones. I need to sort all those out in a minute. I've got a list of all the sort of movements I'm going to do there, um, just so I knew exactly what I was going to do, so I wouldn't be faffing around. Um, right, okay, let's get back to here then, because these are the ones I need to think about for now. I want to get this geisha here, having a look over here, because I think it's this place that's hostile. Uh, yes, it is. There, I just want to see what's coming my way. Mm, nothing at the moment, that's good. And um, this guy here, he's no longer required around here. I'm going to get him to sort of go up this way. Um, at war, yeah. I don't think we're at war without... Oh, we are. I didn't realise I was at war with that one as well. Uh, I thought I was at peace with all of those, but obviously not. Well, let's go and have a look around there then. Why can't he get round there? Maybe he can eventually. Let's get him up that far first. Um, okay. Then perhaps... Why won't they let me move him? Not oh, maybe. 
Ah, I see, look at that. It's all right, okay. I can't actually get through there, that's what that is. Oh, well, that's probably a good thing then. Yeah? Probably a good thing, because it means that I'm safe from him, doesn't it? So let's just get him moving just a little bit further over then, hey? Well, eventually when the time comes. Right, okay, so that's those moved over. Um, uh, right, now, this building, wherever it is, construction complete. This is the one that's way over here, and it's the dry dock, I hope. Yes, it is. Right, I'm going to get a frigate in there. If I can find it. Come on, frigate. There you go, armoured frigate. Yep, basically because I want big ships, so I can blow the enemy out of the water and completely c control the coastline of Japan. That's what I want. If that's ever going to be possible, don't know. Um, now, my Brits... My British over here, they go, oi oi captain, or whatever they do. Um, I'm going to get those to attack someone. I don't know who yet. Come on, where are you? Give me the ship. There you go. Okay. Um, I don't know why I've got like this American style Stetson on here. It should be a bowler hat or something, shouldn't it? <laughs> well... I can't even reach him, but I'm going to have to go for him. Because he's my nearest target. Uh, otherwise, he'll probably just go for that new port that I'm building anyway. I don't know what happens if you're, you know, building a ship in a port when somebody attacks it. I'm not too sure about that, but anyway, we'll find out. Uh, right, now I need to figure out all these northern places up here. What I'm going to do with them all, settle them and everything. Um, first of all, I've got too many troops now to move into here. I've recruited a little bit, a little too many. Um, but I want to get the, um, the horse into there, because they need to be in a place to recruit anyway, to, to replenish rather. So I get him into there, so that's the most forward position I can get them into, I think. Let's have a look. Yep. Okay, that's, that's even settled them actually. That does surprise me. Right, I want a few spears one way and a few spears the other, so if I get these spears in here... Yep, come on, quick as you like. Come on, right, okay. And then I get a few spears, don't know what I've got at the back here, oh there's one. Oh, I wanted to move him anyway, didn't I? So I've put one in there. And then... I don't really need them all, do I? But I'm going to put some in anyway. Just to make absolutely certain we've got the place covered. The yep, two spears there. As you wish okay, now I've done a count-up of these. As well as those three spears in each one of those places, I've got another unit um, that I need to put in somewhere. Um, so I'm going to put him in here, perhaps, because it's on yellow. Uh, but the other main reason for doing that is that the other one, the one at the back here, has the um, Ishin Shishi in place, you know, so um, that's uh, a lot better off, isn't it? Right, now, they're going to take too long to reach there. So what I'm going to do is put them on the ships. Let's get everybody on the ships. Ships in the port first. Ready for order. Boarding now. March! Okay. Immediately. Come on. As you wish. And these as well. In service to the emperor. I wonder if they could get there. You know, if I put them in there first, would they be able to go through? Do you know? There's a possibility they might do. You know. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to risk it. Let's put them all on the boats. And we can get them all there at the same time. Okay, he's with the general as well, so... Hey? Oh, he can't reach. Damn it. Damn. Right, okay, well, these will have to go without him then. So, we're bringing those up to... I don't know which one. Probably this one. I don't suppose it makes that much difference. Okay, and then are they going to get in? Without delay. <laughs> oh dear! Right, okay. Can somebody welcome them in? Hey, 
Where are you? There you go. Right, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can get one in, see if it makes a difference. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? If I can get one in, let's see if I can get all the rest of them in. Oh yeah, okay. I was thinking I could only move one at a time, so I might be able to get them all in. Leave the general out last, because he's the one that can replenish troops while they're outside a city. Ah, they can't get in. Ah, uh, maybe it's only one force that can get in. Not sure. Ah. No, none of those. Okay, well let's get the uh, the horse back then. Back in there. The general I'm going to keep with those for the reasons I've just mentioned. Well, in fact, I don't need to bother because they're all um, fine anyway. They're full. That's a shame, isn't it? I should have left him with those, shouldn't I? What a nuisance. What happens if I try putting those on that ship there? Let's see what happens. The ship will come and pick them up, maybe, with a bit of luck. No, they're not going to reach. Never mind, let's put the ships together then, just in case there are any problems afoot. Uh, I'll move those other troops up afterwards. I was hoping to have an army together in the north, actually, that could do something useful, but it's not going to be, is it? Um, what, around here somewhere, maybe? I don't know. About there? Okay. Right, well, in that case, we'll just move these over slowly, b wherever they are. Um, here. Okay. Yeah, it's a pain. Mind you, 199 and 197, they're going to replenish in one turn anyway, aren't they? As soon as they're settled, there's no problem with those. Right, okay, so that's got, God, it's going to take forever. One, two three turns for those guys there to get into position. That's ridiculous, isn't it? But anyway, never mind. Um, and these here, all because I was stupid about moving my ships around. Um, which makes it which makes it gall even more. Right, okay. Um, I think that's all I wanted to do for there. And do you know, that's about all I had planned for the whole of this video. And I'm only up to 17, 18 minutes. Perhaps I should have done that attack. I've still got 3,162 in the bag. Actually, you know, I haven't moved these ships. Why didn't I move those? And why didn't I plan to move them? Is there something else like an attack? Nothing. I just forgot when I was planning this turn completely about those ships. Right. Okay, let's get those repairing. And um, I think that's about it, really. Um, we're all getting police stations. Oh, look! That army has disappeared. Just a minute. Um, that army was outside this province. I wonder if the rule about them becoming rebels only works if they're in their own province at the time. So all armies outside the province. Ah, now that's an interesting thought, isn't it? If I stab a nation in the back, so go into the top right map there, if somebody attacks me there with an army, I go in there and wipe out his only territory, that army should disappear, shouldn't it? Aha! Now that is worth bearing in mind. How are we doing here with all of these, then? Yeah, OK, construction, recruitment. Um, he's not going to be able to recruit anything decent, is he, in there? Um, no, nothing at all. Uh, mind you, once I've got rid of that, the cannon range, I might be able to start building something a little bit better in there, so. Right, okay, well, that's the end of that turn, so let's see what the enemy's got in store for me. We've got, um, oh, did I check everything? I think I did, yep. Okay, like I said, we've got, uh, view CPU moves now, so if we've got any surprises up there in the north, I think we should be ready for them now anyway, really, but... Just in case. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want any more surprises. Okay. If these are all going to be pretty straightforward, I'll not bother showing them. Um, and it looks like they are all pretty straightforward, doesn't it, really? But 
Actually, there is an enemy that's appeared there that wasn't there before, next to my geisha. So that's been informative, isn't it? So, hmm. Okay. Trade routes raided, as normal. So, now studying what? No, I don't want that. What I want is the... Um, I'm going to go for the modern rifles now. Um, we've had enough time of um, leaving the uh, military development uh, uh, alone. And also we, we get plus one happiness for everybody now, if you remember, you know, because of that um, um, development we just had. Now, we were able to attack a ship up here, weren't we? So, just a minute... Just a minute. Ready for look at that there. Just look at that. Why didn't I see that on the CPU moves? Or did you see it, or what? I mean, what what happened then? Why couldn't I see that move into that position there? Or did I just blink and miss it? That's ridiculous. Look at that. It's, what an army that is. Let's have a look at that. That's a full army, that, you know. Two ships protecting. Look at that! Wow, and my capital is there. Good grief. I mean, he's in range of bombarding this. See, he's come all the way from over here somewhere. Past, even though my ships are up there, he's got past them all. Look at that. That's got. To, I'm not even going to bother counting those, but I bet you there's a full 20 in there. I bet you there is. Right, okay, well, I'm going to go in there and blow him up. Um, it's important that I do blow him up as well, so I'm, I'm actually going to fight this battle. I don't want anybody getting off here. I don't want one ship routing and getting away or anything, you know. So I'm going to actually get in there and blow them up. So I will show you the battle. Because um, I don't think I've got any battles anywhere else to do. But um, anyway, we'll have a look. Look at that. And I was going for... I tell you what, in a way, it's lucky I went up there. If I hadn't have gone up... There, see, he's moved, I think. He has, hasn't he? If I'd have carried on chasing that ship, he'd have landed. If I hadn't have been there attacking him, who was there, yeah, I would have never checked on that ship. In fact, why would I check on it anyway? I'd be thinking, well, I'm going to catch him anyway. That is incredibly lucky. It really is. Right, well, let's go in there and take that one out anyway. Cool. It probably means that my new dry dock that I built up there is at risk, doesn't it? But, hey, never mind. Right, okay, let's go in there and... It's, it's, I mean, I was going to say, um, I was going to say, let's kick some ass, but... This is the British ship, isn't it? You know, so um, we're gonna go in there and give them a good stonking. I think that's probably the best way to describe it, isn't it? Eh? A good old stonking. Well, I seem to remember us having a slightly longer range than him, and yes, I think we have. We've hit one of his already. Um, but I'm pretty sure those explosive shells. Um, ah, now he can fire back at that range. Let's give him a bit of the explosive shells then, and the fast reload. And perhaps hit this ship here then. I think it means, you know, that we're too far away when we do this. Um, so we need to get a little bit closer. Um, I think the range of the explosive shells is shorter than the range for the solid shot. Doesn't tell you that, does it? But I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let's go have a look at his ships when we go in and do this. Uh, one of his ships, by the way, has got um, very poor number of guns. Seven on that one there and nine on this one here. Um, he's already taken some hits, by the way, so he wouldn't have had quite that many. Not on this ship, anyway. Oops, that one's gone already, anyway. So, Right, OK, it's all to do with the, these explosive shells, I think. That's what's really blowing them all out of the water. So, main thing is that we get rid of um, any army that's... Uh, you know, any troops that there are on either of these ships. Come on. I wanted to get the first shot in. I think I did. I don't know if you noticed it or not, or if you saw it or not, rather. But uh, it looks like we're trying to follow him round, doesn't it, for some reason? don't know why. He's outmanoeuvring me here, you know. You look at this. He's got me on a broadside while I'm trying to get nearer and nearer to him. So he's definitely got an advantage over me there. Um, I don't know what my captain... He's called um, Gilbert... Um, what is it? Gilbert Sturbury or something like that, my um, captain. Um, I think he really should be called um, Gilbert Scupper Everybody or something like that. You know, but anyway, here we go. What's this one? Uh, 41 out of 42. We've lost a gun. Um, taken some hits on personnel. But we should start to hit him now, I think. There we go. That's it. 
Ah, right, okay, he's upset now. So let's go and have a bit of a closer look at him then. Uh, okay, firing on fire. This is the thing. Now, I found out one thing, by the way. You can't board a ship when it's on fire. And I think these explosive shells causing him to go on fire is um, really sort of spoiling things, really. That's what's stopping me from being able to capture ships anyway. So, okay, in the battle. Nice, simple one for us. And uh, we should see that. You see those little fish around there? Um, wh what you're not seeing is the Japanese soldiers, sort of, you know, thousands of them, um, who've now been confined to the bottom of the sea, sort of like floating or flapping about in the water there with the fish watching them go down. So that's a little bit of the video you've missed. So you have to sort of imagine lots and lots of people flapping about there as the fish watch them go down. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Full results. Um, he's lost both his ships. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much damage we've got. Um, I don't suspect there'll be very much. Um, so, <laughs> that's probably about the easiest um, destruction of a Japanese army we've seen there, isn't it? So, I, I'm just... whoops. I'm just trying to figure out which is the best port to put these chaps in. Uh, see, I quite like going for... I'm going to go for this one. So if you look at these ports, you'll find this one has, for Choshu, 3,627, whereas this one here is 1,030. I think the one up here is even less. Not sure now. Two th oh no, it's pretty good, actually. Choshu, 2,143. Maybe that's what I need to get my um, frigate onto. Uh, right. 851. But that costs for completely wiping out an army. It's really got to be worth paying, hasn't it, I think. Crikey me, honestly, that could have made such a difference. Because if he'd have taken out one, or maybe even two of these places before I was able to get an army in place, which would probably more than likely be the case, I'd, I'd have lost 1,324 income there. I'd have lost um, 400 there, 1,700 income, plus all the trade income that I'm getting from those two places. I'd lost an income of about two to 3,000. Um, and um, I would have been, that could have ruined my empire, actually. That could have ruined it all because um, I wouldn't be able to sustain the troops I've got in these places. I'd have to strip out, strip out the garrisons um, with the um, uh, and just leave small numbers of troops behind, um, and just hope that I'd be safe and hope that he doesn't do too much damage until I get there. You know, but I don't know. We'll see. Right. Okay. Well, only a couple of minutes left to go on this video now. So um, yep, just um, just almost literally two minutes. Uh, let's see where we're. The if we can get these moving anywhere useful. No, I think she's probably about where she needs to be, isn't she, really? And um, this one here... Uh, over to there, yeah? And... Ships... See, did it show me that one, either? I'm not sure if it did. Hmm... Oops. Ah! Two ships. What's that? Oh, I can't see what they are, can I? No idea what his ships are. But they're both raiding routes. And that means... Why can't I turn? Come on, turn. Right, okay. Uh, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there now and finish off these two here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll return my ships to the port, you know, to replenish them again. but um, Or to repair them, rather. But... Uh, there doesn't seem any point in showing these, does it really? Because it's just going to be the, the usual thing. Three ships blowing up one, um, and I'm running out of video time. I've only got one minute left. So um, we should be ready for a turn end um, on the next video, and then we'll plan what we're going to do over here with these. Um, I think I've got to move some troops around. You know, perhaps these do something about this artillery, maybe get some of these Armstrong guns somewhere, maybe get rid of some of these parrots. I'm really not too sure. I'll have to work out how much they're costing me, um, see if it's worth doing it, you know. But um, is it worth going into there? I might have to find out how many provinces this guy's got. He's probably got quite a few, I would imagine. So, right, in terms of objectives, um, we have 18 out of 26, so we're on the right road, I think. Uh, 43 out of 50 at the moment are loyal, so that's got to be good as well. Um, uh, I do need to build... I'm going to do that now, actually. Let's build the police station there now. And if I can do magistrates and things like that, that's what I'm going to get in these places as well. So, because I can get Ishin Shishi. Plus, we spread the pro-emperor... Um, sentiment, don't we? So, mm. no. 
Okay. No, 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 no. And if anybody watched the TV programme with me in it, by the way, on Thursday, Thursday, we're talking about Tuesday, um, then uh, I'm the, I, I've very little to say. I'm there at about five minutes into it, on the one holding up the tankard and shouting Newcastles. Um, and uh, I think I might... Cause it carries on my speech for a little bit as well. Um, I think I think I say something else. I'm really not too sure now, but um, a brief thing about being a royalist. I think perhaps uh, say about four minutes in or something like that. Really don't know. But anyhow, okay. I'm going to go off and finish these two ships, and then upload yesterday's video. Um, so I'll keep this one in the bag. Thanks for watching again, folks.